or amount of controllable costs as we go up the chain. So if we imagine this situation, we have the report on the store level, let's say, we have a very detailed report of the controllable costs of the store. If we think about the regional manager here, the vice president of the region, then this report is going to be summarized as we go to the, the vice president because they don't need as much detail. They're not on the ground level controlling the controllable cost. That's going to be the job of the manager of the store. So here we can see that there's going to be a lot more uh, controllable cost. There's going to be a lot more detail, a lot more information, uh, but it's going to be less detailed than the information on the store level. The store level, in other words, is going to have a lot of detail about the costs they have control over, summarize those, give them to the regional office. The regional office has less detail for each store, each place, but of course is in charge of ultimately more controllable costs as they are in charge of multiple regions. So if we consider just a, how this cost structure could work, if we consider an executive vice president of operations, these being the controllable costs, this is at the higher level now. We're talking about the higher level, the vice, uh, the executive vice president of operations. We got the controllable costs. 